Hey everyone, I'm Nat Silva, and today I'm going to show you how I draw Mario. For Mario, we are going to be using 400 GSM paper, because it's nice and thick, a Montmartre 4B pencil, lightly sharpened, and a trusty eraser, just in case. All right, first of all, I like to start off with the nose, which is sort of like an egg shape. And we wanna go really lightly on this because we're not sort of doing the whole thing straight away. So a nice little egg shaped nose for Mario. Later on, we're gonna start from the edge of his nose. We're gonna take it out and make his mustache. So it just, it's like little waves in and out up to the top of his nose it's a bit big but we can always fix that later on from the edge of the nose we have a little sort of side of his face so it depends how you want to draw Mario in this case I'm drawing him sideways so his face will be coming out this way and that's the side of his face then we're going to draw the ear which is another little round thing and then I like to do this side so it's easier to for you pros out there if you want to sort of angle it properly and figure out a point. So you put your pencil on there to make it straight and even. Otherwise you can use lines. Just draw a very rough, rough line across to get your point. And draw the other ear. And then when you've got that, you go, whoops, <laughs> you go down to make his face and the other side here again it doesn't have to be perfect we can always go back and fix it and then from his side of his head we go and make the hat so just the brim of the hat and this took me forever to get right especially working with angles but like I said light strokes you're using a 4B pencil so that's why it's good you can see it, but it's also erasable. And then we get the tuft of hair. Usually the tuft of hair is a little bit of hair that comes out of his hat. And it's a trait that I've actually pinched from previous artists that I know. But I, I reckon it's cute. So we'll add that in there. And again, practice makes perfect. So. If it doesn't turn out the first time, you can always go back and do it again. So there we go. That's the basic stuff. Now, with the line that you've got from the ear to the other ear, you've got this rough line. You can see where the eyes can actually go. But I won't do the eyes just yet because I'm going to do the rest of his head. So from here, from the first bit here, you take a line and curve it around. Go around, stop right there where the ear is, make a bulge, and then come back down, make a bit of hair for him to stick out. Now he's got hair over here as well, and that's why I didn't want to do the eye. And then you can sort of fix, fix your ears up a bit. I know it looks a bit demented, but there we go. That's the face. Now for his signature M up the top and now working on the eyes so you want to come close as possible to that little line there that you've got split between the face and the ear and bring it up don't worry about going overlapping the hair and then this other side here again you can fix anything later and make the eyes now I'm doing this very, very slow, just for my own pace. You just add the eyes, give it a bit of thing that they are eyes. And now you can start sort of seeing where you can go and fix, for example, here. And I've had this eraser for so many years, but it's so trusty. So you take that down a bit more. 
then you extend it to where you see that it's it's good. Another hat. That's good. Again, his eye might be a bit retarded, so I'll just move it over. There's lots of things that you can you can do with this. I mean, you don't even have to have the tuft of hair. The tuft. You can sort of, you don't have to have hair there. It's up to you. You can just have the hat on its own. Then you fix up the eyes so they look nice and even. And you work on the nose and the moustache. Moustache. Again, it's a bit big. And what I love about the 4B Montmartre pencils is that if you lightly shade around, you, you can just rub it off just so easily and start all over again. So it depends on how soft you use the brush. And we will talk about this later on in another episode. I will show you some shading and other techniques. You just extend that out and define his hair you go inwards a bit now when you've got an idea of where things should be you can go over that in a, deep, a deeper you can actually um, get the pencil and use harsher strokes on it once you're confident enough and you've got everything So you can actually see the outline a bit better. And you just go around, make his egg nose more noticeable. Oops. I remember years ago, I the first Mario that I ever drew was made in pen. I was that confident that I just used a biro and I just started drawing Mario. But now I like to use different pencils. Uh, the Montmartre range is very good because they're, they're professional sketch pencils, but you can pretty much use anything depending on the on the confidence level that you've got with your pencils. Now I'm holding my pencil very close to the tip. If I, it depends on the uh, your your structure. But what I like to do is open my hand, put the pencil in between my two hands like that, and then grip. And it depends on artists and and people. But whatever's more comfortable for you, then that's how you should do it. There's no right or wrong way of holding a pencil. And there you go, we've nearly finished Mario's face. So that way you can tell. You just add some pupils to Mario. Maybe give him, with the smile or if you're drawing a mouth or something like that, the, the guidelines, what I use is the guidelines from previous sketching that I've done around the work and sort of have a go and see how it looks. So that works out pretty good. So I'll keep that. Oh, forgot his little hair here. And he needs some eyebrows. You draw some eyebrows. And there you go. After, after that, you just um, keep going with the body. I guess I don't know if I want to take a break now and see how this has turned out. And then we'll continue from there. And there you go, that's a sketch of Mario's face. Done with 4B and trusty eraser. Okay, so We've done the face and I'm quite happy with the results. I mean, I will 
outline it later on with pen. Get rid of all the sketch marks. Now we're starting on Mario's body. So I've done little bits here on the sides which will guide me to his hand. So I'm going to do a running pose because he's sideways. So I'll draw his buttons and I'll do this a bit quicker. And it's just very, very light strokes. Very, very light strokes. So that way you can always go back and if you made a mistake, his little tummy. Now with, with the arms, it really depends if you want him sideways or whichever way and practice is perfect. So keep doing it until you found out your correct way of positioning the body. I just like to dabble if I have it in my mind. I can quickly sketch it out. His leg, very rough. It's just to give us a basic idea of where we want things at this moment. And we don't want to sort of go too deep with the pencil. We just want to keep it very, very scratchy and loose. That's why I like to hold it very close is to have that control. If I hold it up here, I don't have that much control. Again, it depends on how you like it. Okay, so that's his body. And I'm going to do his arm sort of sideways sort of thing, if, if that makes sense. So we're starting from the shoulder, I mean the, the wrist part. Oh my god, I'm getting confused. Just shut up and draw now. So we're going to have him, like he's just gotten the power star and he's dun 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 And with hands and feet and all that kind of stuff, I'll sort of put a tutorial later on on how I've managed to do it. This is very free, freestyle, but it has taken me a long time and I still hate drawing feet. So now that you've got the basic, that's the basic line art. Uh, it's a very light sketch of his body. So now we're, what we're going to do, if we're, we're happy with the result, we just, again, what we did with his face, is we start to sort of darken it a bit. And again, this is a good time if you see anything that sort of, and it doesn't quite fit or you can easily take it out. Now is the time. And with his leg, you can also add or take away as well. So just adding some depth, going a bit harder with the pencil. And with, with, with Montmartre pencils, I've noticed that the lighter you use them, the less you'll have to sharpen it, which is really good. So just all the way around the light sketch. doesn't have to be perfect, just to sort of show you where the good stuff is and that's what you want. And that one's a bit. There we go. Now, Mario has those little strange bubble things on his, on his gloves, but I don't add them all the time. It just depends, but you can if you want to. And there we go. Now's a really, really good time to just muck around with any bits that you have seen or that you want to add. Like, I want to sort of add, instead of a smile, I want to add his mouth to be open instead. You can add to that. You can also erase. Oop. 
Bring it too close. A little tuft of hair. Move that down because it's too far up. Just little bits and pieces like that that really do make a difference. Add curves. His eyes are fine up here a little bit. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect because when you go over this with, um, you do your line art first and then you get rid of all the sketch work. And this isn't line art, this is sketch work. Line art is just black pen over this and then you take off anything that you don't want. His ear is a little bit strange looking, so I'm going to fix that. Make his hat match his hair. Like the right side. And here, on the ear, because this part has got hair and this part doesn't, and it's just got an ear, you can also add and then colour it in later on. So it's more defined. And there you go. Doesn't have to be exactly a light, but there we go. It's Mario. There you go. <laughs> I hope you've liked this um, tutorial. Uh, stay tuned for more tutorials in the future.